Dispatchers use the field service schedule board to schedule and manage work orders for resources. Let's take a look at using, managing, and configuring the schedule board. Dispatcher and administrator security roles can access the schedule board from the field service and resource scheduling apps. Resources can also access the schedule board, but with a limited view of records. After the schedule board loads, you'll see multiple panels that display different interactive information. In the middle, you'll see resources and their assigned bookings that represent scheduled work orders or other jobs. On each booking, you can see basic information like the work order number and the duration. The line before the booking is the estimated travel time for the resource to get to the work order location. By right-clicking on a resource and selecting View Resource Card, you can see basic information about the resource, such as their time zone, their skill levels, and organizational roles. To the left, you can see a map of the same resources and bookings. Each pin and route color corresponds to a specific resource based on the pin color next to the resource's name. In the top left corner of the map, you can choose which date you want to see the routes for. On the map, you can also choose to overlay unscheduled jobs, shown as red pins with question marks, offices, shown as purple buildings, and traffic patterns, among other things. In the same left pane is a filter panel. This is how you change the resources displayed in the center of the schedule board. As an example, you can filter by skills, also called characteristics, and territory at the same time. Then click Apply to show only those resources. By choosing Options, then Save Current Filters by default, the filter will be saved for the next time the schedule board is loaded. If you want to pick a specific list of resources, just choose Select Resources and choose from the list and hit Apply. In the bottom of the schedule board is the Requirement panel. This is a list of requirements that need attention. They can be requirements for work orders, cases, or other jobs, and you can edit the list like you would any Dynamics view. You can also create multiple views and display them along the bottom. From this list, you can schedule the job requirements, and we'll dive into this later on. Finally, to the right is the Details pane. This gives you more information in context. As an example, if the dispatcher selects a booking, more booking details will be displayed here. And the same is true for requirements and resources. There is also a pane for alerts that are reminders for the dispatcher to stay on task and respond to customer requests. You can create new ones under Actions. Along the top are different schedule board tabs. Each tab can display entirely different resources and requirements based on different territories or lines of business. Next, let's show how dispatchers can schedule work orders and other job requirements from the schedule board. The simplest way to schedule is to click and drag a requirement from the lower panel to a resources time slot. Similarly, we can find a nearby job on the map and drag the map pin to a resource. The expected travel time will be displayed, and you can spotlight a specific resource's jobs and route. From here, you have the option to click and grab the route and drag it to another unscheduled job to schedule it. And the scheduled time slots to the right will be updated as well. Another example is imagine you know the work order number that needs to be scheduled, but you don't want to find it in the lower pane or on the map. You can click and drag a time slot, then search for the work order number, which is the name of the requirement by default. Yet another manual scheduling option is to select a requirement, then a resource, and then choose the book button at the top. From here, you can choose the basic details like date and time, and then choose book. Finally, it is also common to enable Quick Create for the booking entity, which will allow you to create a booking with the Quick Create form right from the schedule board. Next, by using the Schedule Assistant, 
you can have the system recommend the best resources for jobs. From the lower pane, click a requirement and choose Find Availability to trigger the Schedule Assistant. Available resources and the estimated travel time are displayed. Simply click Book to book that resource and time slot. You can schedule other resources to the same job by clicking Book again on another time slot. But if you only want to book one, then simply hit Exit Search. You can also trigger the Schedule Assistant from the map. Mouse over a map pin, then choose Find Availability. Another option is to automatically schedule a list of job requirements to a group of resources. This is done with Resource Scheduling Optimization, which you can run from the Schedule Board. After setting up RSO, a Schedule Board tab will automatically be created. In the Details panel, you'll see an optimization pane where you can run RSO or run it as a simulation. After just a short time, you'll see the automatically scheduled jobs in the center pane just like any other job. After work orders are scheduled, dispatchers can cancel and reschedule jobs from the schedule board. Canceling a job can be as simple as changing the status to canceled, where it will remain on the schedule board, but the time slot will still be considered available. Another option is to select Remove. This will delete the booking from the board and the system altogether. To reschedule jobs, you can click and drag a booking to a new time slot or a new resource. The travel time will update automatically. Another simple option is to right-click a booking and choose Substitute Resource. If you don't know who to reschedule a job to, click Rebook and this will trigger the Schedule Assistant and the system will recommend other available resources. Another way to reschedule work orders is to use resource scheduling optimization for a single resource. As an example, let's say a job was canceled and there is a gap in the schedule. You can right-click a resource's name and choose Optimize Schedule to re-optimize existing jobs to minimize travel time and maximize utilization. Here it will schedule over the canceled job. Furthermore, if you go to the Schedule Board tab that corresponds with your RSO scope, you'll see an optimization panel where you can run single resource optimization and pick a custom date and goal. Once job requirements are scheduled, the Schedule Board helps dispatchers manage resources and the status of jobs. The blue line running down the board is the current time. The booking colors indicate the status of the job. A scheduled job is blue by default, but will change as the technician indicates he or she is traveling or in progress with his or her mobile app. The color bar on the left of the booking shows what kind of job the booking relates to, such as a work order, a case, or a project task. And the color in the top right corner represents the priority of the job and how important it is. All of these colors are configurable. Next to each resource's name, you'll see the total hours booked and utilization percentages based on duration of jobs compared to working hours. You can change the number of days in the view by selecting the gear icon and sliding the scale field, and this will in turn update the utilization calculations. To get a broader view of utilization, dispatchers can switch to the days or weeks view. The utilization numbers will change to reflect the time range, and the colors indicate if the resource is fully booked, partially booked, or overbooked. Much of the schedule board can be configured based on your business needs and personal preference. The gear icon in the top right is where you can make a lot of visual configurations. One very important one is choosing the time zone that the bookings are displayed in. This is helpful for organizations that need a schedule board tab for each of the time zones that they operate in. And here you can also choose which hours are displayed on the board. A simple example is not showing nighttime hours when the business is not operating. The most common configuration is to change the requirement views in the lower pane to show different fields or different views altogether. 
This is done where most configurations take place in schedule board tab settings. First, create the view you want by adding a system view in customizations for the resource requirement entity. Here is an example of a requirement view for unscheduled work orders. Back on the schedule board, double click on the schedule board tab and go to the requirement panel section at the bottom. Find your view, give it a name, and hit the plus sign to add it. To edit the fields in the view, simply edit the fields in the system view where you created it. All views on the schedule board can be edited in system views. As an example, hovering over a booking or selecting it and viewing the details pane are both system views for the booking entity. Many colors on the schedule board can be edited in schedule board tab settings as well. As just one example, you can define what color non-working hours show as. After choosing the color and applying the changes, the non-working hours color is changed after it is reloaded. All the changes you make can be for a specific schedule board tab, and you can create a new one that looks different and displays different resources and requirements. Hit the plus icon in the top right to create a new schedule board tab. Give it a name, decide who can view it, whether everyone, just you, or specific people, and then towards the bottom, add your requirement views and other details. Once the view is created, filter for the resources that should display on that tab and that tab only. When it comes to more specific business requirements, you can extend the schedule board with HTML, CSS, and XML. One example is changing the information inside a booking with HTML. Go to the field service docs and copy and paste a sample template. Then double click a schedule board tab to edit that specific tab. Under the schedule types, select work orders and paste the HTML code snippet into the booking template field. You can have different ones depending on what entity is scheduled. In our example, it's for work order bookings. Back on the board, you'll see new details are displayed inside the booking. And we can expand the row height and column widths to better see the information. Another extensibility option is editing the universal fetch XML that controls how the resources are filtered and sorted when the schedule board loads. As an example, pasting this XML code snippet into the Retrieve Resources Query setting will filter the schedule board by the territory of our choosing. All we have to do is enter the territory's name and the GUID unique identifier. When we reload the schedule board, the resources are automatically filtered in the background, even though it doesn't show on the filter. With the same technique, we can even remove and add filters that the dispatchers can see in the left filter panel. <laughs>